AB Academy, what's going on? Today we talking about money. Y'all like when I talk about money, let's talk about this money. Let's get it, man. So today I'm about to tell y'all three lies that we were told as children about money that we still might believe to this day. I know for me personally, all of these, all of these videos are a personal account of my real life. I was on an Academy call like two days ago. And somebody asked me, damn, why you don't talk about why you don't talk about your diet? Why you don't talk about this? Bro, I'm still learning diet. I'm not about to come on this app and talk about something I don't know about. That's one thing about me. I'm not talking about something I ain't experienced. I ain't talking about something I don't know about. So if I'm talking about something, it's because it actually happened in my life. These three things actually happened in my life. And I had to like switch my whole mindset about money and was like, damn, so did money really work like this? And a lot of y'all can probably attest to these three things I'm about to say. So money lies we was told as kids. Number one, you need college to make money. Let me tell you why. I was told this. So my parents always told me growing up, yeah, you got to go to this school so you can get a good grade, so you can get a good college. So once you come out of college, you could get a good job for somebody who's going to pay you some money. Bro, my people went as far as to say, you got to get a good job for a good white man. What the fuck? What the fuck? I believe that, bro. I believe. Bro, I believed. No cap. Avery. Me. I. You probably do too. Cut this shit, bro. I dead ass believed. That I had to go to school to get to college to have a white professor to graduate to get a white ass degree. I'm sorry, I don't got nothing against white people, I promise, bro. But growing up in a black household, this is how we talk, bro. To get this degree to come out of this college to work for a rich, successful white man so he can give me a salary. What, bro? And if you don't know, a hourly, I'm going to get into it, bro. This it's is a rant, bro. A hourly wage is literally a price that they set for you to make a profit. If you're getting paid $20 an hour, they're making at least $40 off your ass. They probably making $60 off your ass. They not make, bro, they're not losing in this equation. So a lot of people, they, yeah, bro, I was one of them, bro. I was like, yeah, I'm getting paid $10 an hour. Yes. No. I guarantee you, you they making way more off your ten dollar, bro. Come on, why would a business give you ten dollars to lose? They not losing, bro. Off your ten dollars of labor, they at least making twenty, thirty dollars, bro. I got some of my dreads. You know my shit long now, bro. I'm telling you for real. Like it's it's mad when you when you change your mindset when you when you start to think about this, but. I kid you not, I promise you don't need to think like that. I thought that I had to go to college to get a degree to make the money that I wanted to, bro. You don't need that, twin. I went to college because I because I was told this all my life. And when I got to college, I'm like, yo, this ain't for me, bro. Like, I want to be creative. I want to, and I'm not saying nothing against college. If you want to be a doctor, if if being a doctor is your dream career, go for it, bro. You need college for that. You need to learn for that, bro. I didn't want to be a doctor. I didn't want to be none of that growing up, bro. I wanted to be an entrepreneur. I wanted to think for myself. No cap. When I was five years old, my grandma asked me, what you want to do when you get older? I said, I want to sell shit. <laughs> I didn't say shit. I said, I, I said, I'm going to sell some shoes. But I was always in that mindset of shit. I'm going to sell something, God damn it. You feel me right now? Well, not right now. I'm selling information right now. I'm giving y'all information. I'm not even selling it. This free game. This free game right now. You feel me? This free game. You feel me? So make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you want free game to come. But bro, I'm selling entertainment on YouTube or something like that. You feel me? But I always wanted to sell stuff. But going through the system that I went through from the school, from my parents telling me that I needed this, and they didn't tell me nothing wrong. That's what they know. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't fault them for telling me what they told me, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's what they believe. You feel me? You can't, you can't get mad at people that really believe that they're trying to protect you. You feel me? But I went through the system and then I finally got out. And I tell people all the time, when I dropped out of college, that was the first time I made a decision of my own. And nobody liked it. Nobody was rocking with it. I was, bro, I was shunned upon when I dropped out of college. Now everybody like, oh, look at you. You done did a good job. I'm so proud of you. Oh, my gosh. I can't. Oh, my gosh, man. You, I wish I would have did what you did when I was your. Okay. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I Thank you. I appreciate it. But that's rule number one, man. <laughs> rule number two. You feel me? Thing number two that we was told growing up 
that's just cap is money is evil and things in that nature. You can think about it in all types of ways. Every household got it different. Everybody got it different. Everybody was told different, but the root of it is money is evil. You know what I'm saying? And once you think like that, you kind of position yourself to reject it and not accept it and go far from it. You know what I mean? Think of it like this. If you walk up to a beautiful girl and say, you ugly as shit, you think that girl gonna wanna fuck with you? No, not at all. You literally just said something bad about her. That's what you're doing to money, bro. If you're saying money evil as hell, oh, da, 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 da. you're not accepting it into your life. You know what I mean? You're literally looking at it as a scarce ass resource, as some shit that's never gonna happen, as some shit you don't even want. And realistically, you want it. You need it to live a good life, to take care of your family. Money can do good things. Money can do bad things, too. It's two sides to a coin, bro. But we on AB Academy going to use our money for good. We on AB Academy going to use what we got to help other people, to uplift other people. We on AB Academy going to use it for its intended purpose, right? We going to accept it. We going to know that it's abundant. We going to know another one. Hey, honorable mention, money don't grow on trees. We know that it's abundant. We know that it's flowing. We're going to align ourselves with that. We're going to get that. We're going to get it. We're going to stack it. We're going to flip it. You know what I'm saying? We're going we gonna to do it. We're going to do it how we're supposed to because we on AB Academy, right? That's number two, man. Number three, this is the biggest one right here. This is the biggest lie we was told. This, man, boy, when I hear this now, I get pissed off. Time is money. Time equals money, bro. No. No, that's a bad mindset to have. A lot of people got the mindset of, yeah, time is money. We gonna give all our time for this money. It don't gotta be like that. That's literally the first stage of capital. That's the first stage of money, exchanging your time for money. Bro, that's not a good exchange. Your time is way more valuable than this money, bro. But you gotta start from somewhere, man. So you gotta start at that job to exchange your time for money. And now once you got this money, what you gonna do is you gonna spend it all and go give your time up again is you gonna work 80 hours a week so you can buy them Jordans just to not have no money, not go work another 80 hours a week to go buy a fucking airplane? I don't know. That's that's the cycle we going on thinking time is money. But if we think in another way of, okay, let's exchange something else to get money. What if I invested this money into this and got this out? What if I invested $20 in this motherfucking YouTube thumbnail and that YouTube thumbnail was so good that a million people th a million people clicked on that YouTube thumbnail, now I'm getting $10,000. What if I what if I invested this money right here into AB Academy? Now AB Academy just taught me a couple a couple YouTube tips. Now these YouTube tips making me this much money a month. I'm making I'm making T-Rex a month cuz I'm incorporating this nigga YouTube tips. Damn. I'd rather spend I'd rather spend fucking thirty dollars with AB Academy and go fuck it up in the in the club. Nah, you go to the club, you fucking up like a haunter. I ain't gonna lie, you fucking up at least a haunter in the club. Nah, you fucking up like three haunter in the club. Let let me let me spend this thirty dollars on AB Academy other than buying this bottle that costs fifty dollars to get lit for the night. I can I can get a whole month of AB Academy for the price of this bottle. I'm telling you, link in the description. You you can turn up. You feel me? But Warren Buffett, if y'all don't know who Warren Buffett is, he, he like the richest person on earth, if I ain't tripping. He like the richest person on earth. He literally said a person cannot get rich or wealthy exchanging his time for money because there's literally no time. It's not enough time in the world to get to be wealthy, bro. You know what I mean? If a man don't learn to make money as he's, while he sleeps, he'll never be wealthy. If you can't make money while you're sleeping, you'll never be wealthy. You can't. Mm-mm. That's why no job that you can have on this earth can get you to a certain like tax bracket, bro. It can't because you exchange your time for money. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. You can have a job and pair it along with stuff. But if you exchange your time for money, you got to, bro, you got to be able to make money while you sleep. With YouTube, for example, YouTube, I'm going to break down a little bit if y'all don't know. Um, YouTube is kind of like residual income in a way because you can make a video today and get paid from that video today a year from now. You feel me? You can make a video three years ago and still get paid for it today because YouTube constantly monetized. YouTube constantly resurfaced their algorithm and somebody that don't even know you might see, bro, it's literally, I'm going to play a game. Comment, comment what day you're seeing this. 
Comment the date that you see that you see this video right now. Stop, pause. This AB Academy, we interactive over here. Pause the video and comment what day, what date, what month, what year you're looking at this video, bro. I guarantee you, in a year from now, you might see somebody that comment a year. And literally, every time somebody watch it, it's the residual, bro. That's why YouTube is such a great platform. If you want to learn more, click the link in the description, AB Academy. We're going to teach you some more. But YouTube is residual. Literally, I could post this video right now and go to sleep and somebody going to click it while I'm going to sleep. That's one form of it. And there's millions of ways to do this, bro. But one way not to do this is exchanging your time from capital. And these are just three mindset switches about money that you got to make in order to turn up in life, man. You feel me? These stuff that fucked my head up when I first learned them. Hopefully, I just fucked somebody's head up today, man. Because y'all head need a little shaking. Y'all head need a little shaking like, hey, snap out of it. Snap out of it. Snap out of it. Come to the AV Academy team, man. Because all we see is green, man. Appreciate y'all for watching. AV Academy out.